everyone. So I hope that you all had a wonderful spring break. On my break, I've been thinking a lot and doing a lot of reading. And it made me think about how we worked so hard in the beginning of the school year to set up really good habits for our reading life at school. You explored books that you liked. You thought about the kind of reader that you wanted to be. You practiced good reading habits. We did all of those things to set a really strong foundation to have a great reading life at school. But now that you're home, we have to think about what strategies and skills do we need to set up a strong reading life at home. So I have a second reading goal for us. We know one of our reading goals is that we read to learn more about important events and people from history. And we'll keep doing that while we work on our historical biographies. But I'm adding a second reading goal. Here it is. Readers build a reading life at home. And this is true. When I think about myself, that's where my reading life is. I don't read at school. I do all my reading at home. And so I have to build a reading life for myself at home. We've already learned one strategy that actually fits really well with this goal, which is thinking about a perfect reading spot at home. And I want to teach you another strategy that we're going to try to use to help us build this reading life at home. So like I said at the beginning of the year, we thought a lot about what kind of readers we want to be. And that's something that we should be thinking about all the time. So this strategy today that we're going to try is called reflect and plan. We reflect on our past reading and we plan for our future reading. First, you're going to think about your reading history, books you've finished, the pace that you've been reading, so that's how fast you were finishing those books. And then you're going to set some goals by asking yourself this question. What kind of reader do you want to be? So here's what I thought about. First, I thought about my reading history. I took a look at my bookshelves, which are actually right over there, and I looked at all the books that I had finished. And I looked at my stack of books that's in my room. That's all the books that I haven't finished yet. And so one thing I started to think about was, I want to finish more of these books. I want to work through this pile and finish more of these books. And something else that I was thinking about when I looked at all of the books that I had finished were that a lot of them were realistic fiction and a lot of them were mystery and kind of scary books. So those are the kind of books that I tend to like to read. So then I had to ask myself, what kind of reader do I want to be? So I decided I definitely want to be the re a reader who reads every single day who's working through my book stack by reading every single day and making time to read every day, even when I feel too busy to read. And I wanna be the kind of reader that tries out new genres, that's adventurous, that reads more nonfiction, maybe some historical fiction, gets new genres in there, and, and really pushes myself to read things that are maybe um, a little outside of my comfort zone. So, that was how I thought about my reading history and set some goals. And that's what I want you to do today. In your journal, just like I did, you're gonna set up a page and you're gonna answer that question, what kind of reader do you wanna be? So here's what I said for my reading goals. I know to be, oops, I'm reading it wrong. It's hard to read upside down. I want to be the kind of reader who, and I set two goals, fits in at least 20 minutes of reading every day so instead of just saying reading every day, I picked an amount of time for myself. It's easier to follow through on a goal and really see if you're keeping a goal if you pick an amount of time. And then my other reading goal is that I want to be the kind of reader who is adventurous and tries new genres. So like I said, I want to try out some genres that I haven't read a lot of before. So I set two goals in my notebook and that's what you're going to do today to try this step strategy reflect and plan. We're reflecting on the past and we're planning for our future reading by first thinking about your reading history. So what books have you finished? Maybe what books did you abandon that you didn't like? And your reading pace. Have you, do you, what kind of books do you get through when you read quickly? Maybe what kind of books take you a really long time to read? Are you making time for reading every day? Do you want to be making more time for reading? And then set yourself some goals by asking this question, what kind of reader do you want to be? So that is your mission today. You're going to think about your reading history, the books that you've read this year at school and at home, and you're going to set some goals for yourself. I can't wait to see what goals that you come up with. Have fun, and don't forget to upload them to Seesaw.
you got this.